Hello my auctioned auxiliaries, it's your boy Zionic Blader, and in this video, I will be ranking every auxilitar released in Bakugan Legends from worst to best. I will be ranking them by their overall competitive viability in the Bakugan Pro TCG. But enough talk, let's get on with the list. Number 2, Aurelis Auxilitar. This Bakugan has a nice core lineup of Fire Fist and Shield. Fire Fist is a great core to have due to them having the highest boost in damage. Aurelis Auxilitar has a stat line of 900 B power and 1 damage, which are unfortunately stats that are too low to really do anything. And at number 1, we have Darkest Auxilitar. This Bakugan has a nice core lineup of Magic Shield and Shield. Magic Shield is a great core lineup to have due to them giving the highest boost in B power. Darkest Auxilitar has a stat line of 900 B power and 3 damage. Unfortunately, like its Aurelis counterpart, Darkest Auxilitar's stats are too low to really do anything. Luckily, it does come with a Magic Shield, so at least when it's on the plus 650 Magic Shield, it can reach 1550 B power, which is still too low in the Legends format by at least 100 B power, but still, at least it can reach the number on its own. Unfortunately, the Auxilitar line is not very good compared to the many Bakugan we have seen within the last couple formats. Honestly, if the Legends format would have lasted a full year, the minimum B power needed competitively probably wouldn't have stagnated from Evolutions, and would have actually been 1750, which makes Auxilitar look even worse. Which is a shame because it's another cool looking dragon. Well, this has been Zionic Blader with my worst to best of the Auxilitars from Bakugan Legends. What do you think? Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comment section below, and if you like the video, hit the like button. Or don't, I'm not the boss of you. But be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload. Until next time, see ya!